Today I'd like to talk to you about tags in Xcode. As you may know, tags are things that let you, other than branches, freeze certain points of your software in time. So if you release version 1.0 and you go, you submit it to the App Store and then you keep working on other features to release version 1.1 at one point, then there's no easy way to go back to your version 1.0 code to have a look what that looked like. You can of course still get that compiled application from the App Store, but that's not really what you want if you want to have a look at how you've written the code. So let's demonstrate this. First I'm going to create a new Xcode project. It doesn't really matter what it is, I'm going to use a single view application here. I'll call it Tag Demo, just a simple iPhone app. We're not going to run it. We're going to create a Git repository on my Mac. And that's set up. I'll just pick any file, maybe the view controller header file because that's nice and empty. And to demonstrate that we're changing the entire project, I'll just type comments here. So imagine this is the version that we'd like to submit to the App Store. This is called version 1.0. Now to commit this change, we go to source control and just hit commit. Xcode is asking for a commit message here. Notice I don't have any remotes attached to this right now. We're going to change that in a moment. Okay, commit this. So right now there's no way to tag this as a version. So under source control we have the branch features here. New branch, switch or merge from a branch, merge into a branch. And you can also configure your repository, but you can't really deal with tags and the Xcode just hasn't got that feature built in. If you're working with GitHub for Mac, then you'll also notice that GitHub for Mac also doesn't support tags. Let's add this repository here. Add a local repository. Tag demo, that's the one. There, this is my commit message. And again, I can go to branches. I can deal with branches here, but I can't tag a version. So we're gonna to have to employ the command line to do that. Before we get started, let me just push this repository to GitHub. Tag them, I'll leave the description empty. I'll just push it so that we have a remote. And we'll see how that integrates with github.com. So to deal with tags, we need to employ our command line tool. So you find that under Applications Utilities Terminal on your Mac. And if you're in it, move into the directory that you're using for that project. Uh, so in my case, let's have a look. This is called uh, Tag Demo. Tag Demo, there it is. And if I go LS, I will see that this is exactly what I'm expecting from my Xcode project. So in order to do any Git related thing on the command line, you start with Git. So just type Git and you'll see a long list of commands that you can use with Git. So add, bisect, branch, checkout, and so forth. The final one here is the tag command. And to list all the tags that you currently have in your repository, you just type Git tag and nothing comes back. This is because we don't have any tags yet. Let's tag the current commit. So what right now what we've just committed in Xcode will become a tag. So let's do that. Git tag minus A and then you give it a sort of tag identifier. Version 1.0 will work fine. We'll also have to give it a commit message so that you can later in the history log see what you actually did there. So minus M and then in quotes you type what this is tagging version 1.0. Hit enter, and of course if you've not misspelled it, you go like this. There, nothing comes back. If you then type git tag, you will see that v1.0 is now a tag. Go back into Xcode, and I'm just gonna make this change. This is now version 1.1. This now demonstrates that we've changed something in our project. So we've added new features, and this is, you know, this is how you do that. Uh, you go to commit again, and this would now be your version 1.1. Let's commit that. And back on the command line, you want to now tag this. So you now have version 1.0 and version 1.1. Let's do this. Git tag minus A, V1.1, minus M, 
tagging version 1.1. That's that. So this is now tagged, and if you go git tag, you will see you have two tags, version 1.1 and 1.0. But of course, neither of them have made it to your remote yet. So if you go and configure tag demo, we can see that there is a remote, but right now none of this has made it over. So for that, we need to go to source control and push. In the future, and you select your remote here, push. In the future, you will be able to commit things and just tick that box down there and the commit, tick this box, and then your changes that you're committing will also be pushed to the remote. Okay, this is good. Let's check out github.com and see if we can find our tags there. Have a look at my repositories. Tag demo, that's the one. And we certainly see our Xcode project here. We've added brand new features. That's what we've just committed. And we have one branch, which is master. But if I go to releases, which is the github.com equivalent to tags, I don't see anything here. I can create a release here and pull it in and I will see it as a tag but right now I don't see my tags on github.com and for that to happen we need to go back to our command line and type another special command and that is just very simple it's git push hyphen hyphen tags. Now the system comes back and tells me two new tags have been created and the push command has made that possible on the remote. Let's go back to our web browser, refresh our tags, and sure enough, here they are, version 1.1 and 1.0. I can even go into my versions here on the three dots, bring up the commit messages. Those are the M comments that we've added on the command line. And if you go in it, you can't even edit the tag here. So leave this alone, existing tag, but you can call it version 1.0. Publish release, and then you have it properly labeled and named, and if you want to edit any additional things about it. But this is a github.com only feature. This is a git feature so that the tags actually show up, and this is a github.com feature. So do the same thing here. Edit tag. So now both my tags are showing up on github.com. That's really good. Two releases, one branch. Imagine you now want to have a look at what version 1.0 looked like in code. How do you do that? Again, there's nothing we can do here in Xcode, so we're going to have to go back to the command line and check out a previous tag. And the way we do that is we type git checkout, which will bring back a previous commit to our current working directory. And in our case, we want to check out a tag, so we'll type tags slash, and then the identifier of the tag. So this is the v1.0, 1.1, for example. So I want to go back to v1.0. And this little message now shows us that the head revision, which is whatever is in our working directory, is now at some cryptic hash. This is version 1.0. Let's go back to Xcode and verify this. Sure enough, my view controller header file has changed into this is version 1.0. This is what my code looked like at that point. One thing to be aware of, you probably don't want to go and edit the code now without saving it somewhere else. So this is just for having a look at what your code was like. And if you go into a source control here, you can see that Xcode tells you tag demo is currently detached from version 1.0. That means this is outside the scope of version control for Xcode right now. To go back to the current version that you're working on, you just go switch to branch and you just switch to the master branch or whatever other branch you were working on. You do that and sure enough you've gone back to version 1.1 with the brand new changes. And speaking of branches, they, by the way, work out of the box both in Xcode and it also works well with the GitHub for Mac app. But tags, 
they are not supported for whatever reason and I hope this video showed you how you can make full use of them. Thank you.